for my brothers and sisters out there in the world this is your boy fat boy fish and I just had my topic for today my topic for today is judgments now when I was younger and I, I was can I say I was spiritually in decline all I know I was learning the way that I'm supposed to be I'm, I was learning the way I was supposed to carry myself as a man at spiritually and just as a regular person but when I was younger I understood that when it's when it's my time to leave this earth that I will be judged on the things that I have done in my time that I had spent on the earth but now as I've matured and I know more about God's word it's four different judgments that I will be judged on I will be judged on every evil thought that I gave into when evil comes across your mind you're supposed to rebuke it because not all evil things that come inside of your mind comes from you you know what I'm saying it, it comes from an outside influence I don't want to put or give anybody no extra power than what they need but please understand me when I say that now I will be judged on every evil thought that comes across my mind not all evil things that enter your mind come from you I will be judged on every word that comes out of my mouth so please be careful with the words that you use I will be judged on what's inside of my heart and you can't hide what's inside of your mind or your heart from God you can't do it so this evilness that I carry inside of my heart I will be judged on it you know what I'm saying that's why I try to keep my heart pure and try to walk in love and peace because if you see Jesus that's all he talked about peace and love that's all he was on peace and love and the last one I will be judged off what I do with these hands if I go out into this world and hurt people or do certain things that just hurt people or afflict them with my physical I will be judged on that y'all you know what I'm saying so I try my best to be a good man and be a good person overall because those are the four judgments that I will be judged on now my master he he doesn't like four different type of people the last one I'm gonna have to peel back God's word just to find it and I'm just saying it off the top of my mind you know what I'm saying far as in my remembrance now it's the type of person in this world that runs to do evil Jesus does not like them you know what I'm saying you mean to tell me he not walking slow he not walking casual this man or woman they're running to do evil in this world Jesus does not like you you know what I'm saying he does not I'm sorry now Jesus said he don't like a person that has a deceptive a, a deceptive tongue he doesn't like it you mean to tell me as people out here in the world they can never tell you the truth they always telling lies you know what I'm saying? And what I know about our, our our mouthpiece and God's word is either you can either bring somebody to life or you can kill them with your tongue. You know what I'm saying? So choose your words very wisely. Now the last thing, deceptive tongue, people who run to do evil, it's two more. It's two more. That's all right. I'll get back to y'all on that one. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to grab up God's word and I'm going to peel back the layers to find that truth. You know what I'm saying? But... If you don't believe that God exists, if you don't believe that God is alive, I want you to do this. Look at this world God has blessed us with. Look at this world that God has blessed you to be on. Look at every single thing that you would call to be beauty or majestic or awesome, whatever, whatever you think it is. You know what I'm saying? Something that you like about this world. God personally made that for you. So when you want to think that there is no God, look at at how perfect he has made this world you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm taking out the fact that what man has done to it we ain't talking about that we just talking about the sunsets the mountains the, the the most beautiful things that you can see in this reality God made it for you and he said if you want to see that he exists look at some of this amazing things that you can see with the naked eye because he did that for you and me but all of us, you know what I'm saying? This is your boy Fat Boy Fish with my talk for today. Peace and blessings to all the people of the world.